in this video uh, we are going to uh, show how a plane an R3 a plane R3 that is isomorphic to uh, an, an R2 okay so we have we're gonna let beta be uh, a basis for H or for H where H is the span of the collection of vectors v1 and v2 and v1 and v2 are given there and then so we have we have a vector x okay that's living in r3 okay that belongs to r3 and we want to show that this is we want to show how to get this vector in terms of the basis vectors okay and so by doing this we can show that a plane in r3 is isomorphic to r2 okay all right so all right, so for our vector x, we're given 3, 12, and 7, okay? So that means if we want to show if it's if it's isomorphic from R3 to R2, that means it must be in the span of H, okay? So, okay, if x, right, if so if our vector x is an H, then because H is the span of V1 and V2, that means X can be written as a linear combination of V1 and V2. So we have that X can be equal to C1 times V1 plus C2 times V2, okay? So from here, okay, we can go ahead and write this out. So this will be, so X will be equal to C1 times V1, just 3, 6, 2, plus C2 times minus 1, 0, 1, okay? And this is all, okay, so uh, this is going to be equal to, well, this is, X is given as 3, 12, 7, and that's equal to C1, 3, 6, and 2, plus C2, negative 1, 0, 1. Okay, so from here, okay, we can go ahead and write out our system. Okay, so this is the same as 3, 6, 2, negative 1, 0, 1. Times C1, C2 equals to 3, 12, and 7. Okay. All right, so from here, now we can solve for, right, we can solve, we can go ahead and solve for C1, C2. Uh, we can go ahead and augment this. We can write this in terms of, of a matrix and go ahead and augment the, the uh, X vector onto there. So we have 3, 12, and 7. And we can do an REF on this. So put this into reduced row echelon form, and we end up getting 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 3, and then last row is all zeros, as we expect. Okay, so there, there, there we have our solution. So, okay, so C1, okay, C1 is equal to, so C1 is equal to 2, and C2 is equal to 3, okay? So therefore, okay, we showed that, right, we have that X in terms of the basis vectors is equal to 2, 3, okay? So that means that what we showed here was that we took a vector in R3, it's living, so there's a plane in R3, and we showed that that vector X is isomorphic to R2, and that vector x that we're given is equivalent to the vector 2, 3, which is in terms of our basis vectors, okay? So that's a nice, uh, nice application of the isomorph isomorphism property.